An abridged guide to flatulence. The blast furnace. What have? The horn of Jericho. The long goodbye. Hey, if, if, if there's a D bra, like a seat and a D bra, uh -huh. and an E bra, zebra. Would a striped one be a zebra? No, mm -hmm. I knew you were fucking going there with that one. I don't know. I just how far do they go? Actually, I just how far do bras go? I I don't know. Like what's the double H? Is the there's a double H? Yeah. Holy shit. There he is, actually. Those are some big titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an H-bomb. <laughs> I was like, I thought I had big titties. Oh, no. <laughs> double D to double H. I don't know how far they go, actually. I've never researched it. Why don't you fucking Google it? <laughs> no, because Google's not accurate They'll all the time. They'll see that one there and be like, bro, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of those titties. <laughs> Like, wonder what size Dolly Parton is. What does Viola have? Uh, probably a B cup. <laughs> is that a B? I, I guess so. Let me let me see. <laughs> yeah, that's about a B. Or a B. <laughs> As a man, I should know these things, but I don't. He doesn't even know what cup I am. Okay. I do actually, but you probably don't want me to say it on live. <laughs> nice, nice grin. <laughs> Because okay. you just told me what you bought, so I know what oh you bought. Oh my god, enough about titties. Okay, Jesus. all right. You pervert. Let's not talk about titties pervert. anymore. The pervert. <laughs> I feel I feel deflated now. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. Okay, Barry. I have at least about a B cup, maybe. No, no, that's a nice A cup. Right Is there. it? Oh, you sure? Wait, that's, that's a B cup. That's a B cup. No, that's not a B cup. Jesus, that's a man A cup. Does anybody care? I don't know. They're either laughing or going, fuck. Oh, or going. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's listen to some Billy Connolly then. All right. Oh, Billy. Billy on an airplane to Billy, Australia. Don't be a hero. Funny story. Okay. okay. We're also going to do the. On a Funniest joke he ever told. On, I think it was on the Tom Snyder show or something. Yeah, you said they're not very long. Yeah, yeah so we'll do two clips. I may like, split them up. I may not. I'll like, see. how long is it? Like, Four minutes and three minutes. Oh, that's pretty short. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is for Flea, by the way. Flea. Flea 72. Yeah, he, he said, can you do some more Billy Connolly on our live? And I said, yep, yeah, you got it, buddy. So here we go. Flea, this is for you. Flea, man. See, I remembered Flea. something. Holy shit. I went to Australia once, and we stopped at Singapore, and a, and a man got on and sat beside me. I will never forget this as long as I live. He sat, I was at the aisle, and he, it was a first class, there was only two seats. He sat there, and he knew me from, he'd seen me someplace before. Are you a Billy Connolly? Yes, I am. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. He said, I'm just in from Hong Kong. I said, oh, really? He said, and I've... I've just flown Cathay Pacific. Have you ever flown with them before? No, I haven't. I often intended to. They're fucking brilliant. Really, absolutely first class. I said, that's nice. The food was unbelievable. Really? Yes. What did you have? He said, on the flight, he told me, barbecued goose with soy sauce, ginger, and spring onions. He said it was fucking brilliant. <laughs> so I'm glad to hear it. Whereupon he went to sleep and he curled up in a ball <laughs> like a squirrel. <laughs> and we took off, whoosh, into the night, through the clouds. We hurtled up into the sky, whoosh, and we settled down. And we're trundling along, and this man farted. <laughs> I 
will uh, never forget it. <laughs> as long as I live. <laughs> Not only was it the worst part, it was the longest. <laughs> Maybe it was the position he was in, he squeezed his ass all up. But he was kind of leaning over and his ass was pointing up towards me. And it, <laughs> and it made the strangest noise. It was like cloth tearing. <laughs> Did you ever see a movie with Errol Flynn? Where he was a pirate and he had a knife in his teeth. And he dived from one, the mast of a big sailing ship. He dived. Look this. Oh, well, not quite. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't one for diving like this. But he, he took a lunge at this other billowing sail, and he just he stuck his knife in it to stop himself, and it sort of slid, slid down. down yep. The yeah. sail with the knife. Well, that noise <laughs> is the exact noise his fart made. It was a kind of tortured. Noise, it was a kind of. <laughs> oh, my God. And then he changed position. And it finished with a sort of flourish. With a sort of. What's going on? People were looking back. <laughs> and of course they couldn't see him, he was all curled up. <laughs> and my hair was blowing up with this. <laughs> and these fuckers thought I was farting out of my left ear. <laughs> and then the smell came. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I thought, fuck, the plane's on fire. My eyes were burning. And the paint was all changing colour. I thought, for Christ's sake, don't inhale, you'll get cancer. I had to leave. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. That was it, oh god. Okay, that's the first There's one. There's probably more of it. Oh, jeez. Wow, okay, well, that's a, that's a funny Let's little part joke. Do that yeah. whole show, actually. That's just funny. I have a little saying <clears throat> when Brad lets out a good fart. It's like, congratulations, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a boy, isn't it? It is, yes. When a girl farts, then it's a girl. Oh, is it okay? All right. That's usually what I do, but... They should all be boys, I guess, technically. You've had a lot of girls lately. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a lot of boys. <laughs> Jenny calls her mama Bean Toots. <laughs> That's her nickname. I don't have a nickname, but you do. Gobshite. That's his nickname. <laughs> Gobshite and mama Bean Toots. Welcome. In case you guys didn't know, he's my little shite leprechaun. <laughs> I found him while I had a colonoscopy. <laughs> I kept him, he was so cute, you know. I just had to rinse him off a little bit. <laughs> Does that mean I'm smaller? Did I fit into your big fat ass? <gasps> ah! You are tiny in my big fat ass. <laughs> there you go. Fuck. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to cut that <laughs> Oh no. That fucked up. That's comedy gold right there. Oh god. We don't cut anything out anymore. Okay, shite leprechaun. It should be. They, everybody's used to us and our fucking crazy ass oh. stories. Crazy ass. Some things still need to be cut out, though. Cut it out. Like the cheese. Brad's little boys. <laughs> okay, anyways. That's funny. Oh, my God. That's a good I bet story. you it smelled like barbecue goose, too, like the guy I had in there. I have no idea. Barbecue goose and shite. <laughs> that happened, and we all let it happen. Folks, stay over here. We're so mature. Sorry, Flea. Hope oh, we'll see you Sunday. Love you, Flea. Bye. <laughs>